uh, with regards to a trading strategy, um, can it work for all situations and all trades or how, how do the trading strategies work? Oh, is this or, manual, manual trading, is it? Well, so yeah, we can do both ways. Okay, so, oh, you go first again, Hugh. Okay, yeah, I'll take the manual and you can take the automated. Okay. Um, from the manual standpoint, like, of course not. There's nothing that works all the time. Um, you're going to have to figure out what market conditions work for you and what work what works with your personality, right? What, um, what do you feel comfortable with? And it really comes down to how do you see the market and how do you see the world? Uh, if it, you're really actually trading your perspective and not really a trading system. You're trading something that you can see as an advantage and um, um, that, that advantage might be something that works a lot of the time, but um, in most cases, it's something where you're looking for a very specific uh, market condition and you're looking to take advantage of that. I guess what would be some market conditions that are out there that traders can look for or identify? Oh yeah, sure. Like um, I guess two of the popular ones are like trend trading, right? So you're looking for a strong trend, you're looking for some maybe some support and resistance, or you're looking for a moving average to play off of. And um, you can trade that, or you could look for like a counter trend move where there's exhaustion. So you're looking for uh, the move to end and you're looking for it to turn around and go back in the other direction. How do you find out when, what's exhausted? Uh, that's that's the hard part, right? Like, so that comes down to the testing. You, you want to test um, different strategies, different ways people look at things and um, see what works for you. So you can maybe do something as simple as like a two bar pattern, like an outside outside bar or like a pin bar or something like that or something a little more complex maybe like a rounded rounded pattern or uh something like that oh cool yeah because that's interesting because a lot of um traders that come to us to have systems automated don't really have a, a fully defined strategy they have an idea um mm. but if, if somebody was using you and they had a strategy that they use do, do you actually document your strategies do you actually you obviously have a course, don't you? And it's documented the different types of strategies. Yeah, yeah. Uh, people go into the course and they um, they have a strategy that they want to test, and I help them test it out and get the stats on it or whatever. Ah, cool. Because because all we would do is people would contact us, and we have a process that they follow through. Um, we would prefer people to actually provide us with a document, some form of document mm. with the strategy written down. So all the trade rules and risk management rules and settings. And once they have this document, which is like the blueprint. Um, from that, that can be then my, uh, converted into an automated system or a semi-automated system um, mm -hmm. for the trader to use. So that that is one of our biggest issues anyway, is people not actually documenting fully the strategies. Yeah, oh, so yeah I could see that. I mean, it's actually kind of hard to turn some of these discretionary strategies into like a, a hard-coded um, automated strategy, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you have trade yeah. rules, do you? You have like a list of trade rules. Yeah. Um, that they follow yeah. risk management. Yeah. Okay. Well, it sounds like uh, your job, Paul, is to be somewhat of a mind reader and uh, figure out what people are are actually asking for. Sometimes, some 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 types of traders will actually provide a very well documented strategy, so it, they cover everything from risk management to trend, uh, trade rules for exiting trades, entering trade, entering trade, and stuff. And these are the most easiest ones to actually convert into an automated system. The worst ones are the ones where um, are very woolly, sort of not fully detailed, and that can cause issues in the development process. Yeah, like I just want to make money in the market. So when it yeah, goes up, yeah. I want to buy, and when it goes down, I want to sell. So can you yeah. program that for me? Yeah, something, yeah, there's some like that. <laughs> not, not all of them. Most of them are pretty good, but we have to keep asking for more information. <laughs>